Hi guys, welcome back. Oh, welcome everybody. <laughs> welcome back. Um, got a few little projects to do on the next few videos. Lisa's going to do a few thank yous first. Yeah, let me do the thank yous. Uh, thank glasses. you very much, Gavin Conway, for the coffees and chip. And also Mike McClure for the uh, donation to the to the channel. That's yes. it. That's those three. That's it. Right. Yeah. Lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very, very appreciated. Yeah. Thank you for your support. That's it. It all it helps the channel. Really appreciated. Right. So what am I doing? Well, well we've done the little um, series of learning. So you've, you've got it all now. You know it all. I've taught you everything. Everything <laughs> I know. You've got it. <laughs> there you go. Um, so now I'm just going to do some bits of turning for some fun, guys. So if you want to watch, you can watch me do some turning. I know some people say they like to just watch me turn. So there's not going to be so much instruction. It's just me doing some turning. So I've got a few little projects to do. Um, firstly, what I'm going to do, this is for Lisa. This is not, I don't know why I listen to it. I really don't. I've got Resin. good ideas. I'm going to do a goblet out of this. Um, what she wants is a goblet like... It's not going to be as tall as this, so this is a little Harry Potter one. Yeah, Harry Potter. You'll be dropping it. <laughs> no. uh, right, so, obviously this isn't going to go down. Oh, oh see? the glass. It's, it's going to be sort of that depth, the glass. She wants it smaller than this. This, this holds too much. So Too much wine. About, I can't handle all that wine. <laughs> about there. So, and the base is going to be made out of the wood and going to be about the same as that. So it's going to be a little squat base like that, okay? So the goblet's going to be that sort of size and shape. Yeah. Okay, so from there, sort of that. So that's what I thought I'd show you, and I'm going to do it out of these. I'm going to show you how I'll go about just getting these prepared. Obviously, that's got to be glued together, and, yeah, we'll see how we go. I'll just mix up some resin, just so you wanted different colours. Yeah. Rainbow colours. Um, Colourful. And i just done some pours and put some bits in here, because I've done some other bits as well. So I'm going to be doing that next and then after that i've got one here i'm hoping this is going to be all right i've got this one that i've i've resined up uh this has got a lot of um you inside it all oh, steps i'm actually going to make that i'm hoping to i'm probably saying this and going to regret it that's going to be a pepper mill okay and i've got pepper mill. i've got these ones from uh turner's retreat it was only four quid they were selling them off cheap i like these ones they don't have any of those silly little screw things. No screwing in the bottom. They're ceramic. This actually goes in and it's a, a clip fit. So we make our hole and we put a little recess inside the hole. So when you push that in, it clicks and locks in. And then this pushes through. That goes into your lid. Again, a little recess and that pushes and clicks in. And then when you put the lid on, it's a push fit and that that is it it just pushes on so you cut the bar down to whatever size you want it to be so i'm going to make it out of this the reason i'm doing it out of this is i watched a video the other day i saw mike, mike mahoney was doing one on a pepper mill and much the same as myself it doesn't like doing pepper mills finds them pretty boring and i do i've got a few and when you look and say they are they're all just the same sort of shape and he does a few and he does them a bit like um bit like a bud vase type shape which i really liked actually i see it and i thought yeah actually i really like that i wouldn't mind it. hold a lot of pepper so that's what this is going to be okay so it's going to be a bud vase type shape pepper mill and that's what i'm going to be doing out of that that's going to be a messy thing there's a lot of there. <laughs> so that's what i'm going to be doing guys at the moment then i've got a little uh, out of that i've got a little potpourri thing to do someone's asked me to do a potpourri one for them and then i've got a little a little one I was turning here and it had quite a bit of rot inside there so I filled that up with a bit of resin that was like yellow luminous <laughs> fluorescent type <laughs> resin so I'll probably finish that off at some time <laughs> so right enough talking let me get back to this so first thing I've got to do is make this round so I'm just gonna pop my step center in here right so and I'm gonna pop one in there. Oh, I've got a new toy as well to show you in a bit. I've got a new one from new RGD toys. Tools. RDG. RDG, that's what I said, RDG Tools. It's got it written on it, I'll remember it now. <laughs> RDG Tools. Oh, they have got it written on okay. it. Yeah, I won't forget it. It comes in a case, like it's a precision one. 
like this and you get all these different heads for it. I really like it because what I find when I'm turning like, um, you get two two of these heads which are the same same ones. They just push in, okay? They're like got your 60 degree cone, but you've got, you got the really small ones like that as well. Now I like that because if I'm doing like finials and things like that, I like that because I'm, I'm a bugger for always coming down and as you can see by the state of that, mm. I'm always hitting my life centre with my chisel. Um, cutting into it basically so this should be pretty good and you get a few different different size ones on this you get this one which is nice that's a, a cone one so that's nice if you're putting into the end of um, pots and stuff it's got a little hole in the center I don't know what that's actually about maybe you could put a little pin in that or something so that's pretty good um, you get this one which is a little straight one I think that's a 10 mil there you see let me just check it is that 10 mil? No, slightly over 10 mil. That's probably about 11 mil. That's so, you know, if you're doing like a bottle stoppers or so, or you know, you want that to go in the end and not mark, that's good. And then you get the little knockout pin. Oh, which is that one, the little knockout pin. So that basically, that goes in there, give it a little tap in that and knock the point out. So for changing. So I've got one of those guys. Um, yeah, I've tried this. It's, it's, it's pretty good actually. It's nice and so, very solid piece of like all RGD stuff. It's a very solid piece of kit. The This bit doesn't turn, it's the head that turns in there. Okay, that bit turns, this bit stays still when it's in. So it's like that. And it seems, seems pretty good. Um, I like it because my soft touch ones, they still fit on. They obviously it can't go right over because this bit doesn't turn, but because this has got chamfer, it fits in nice and that actually centers up quite well there. So that's really good. I can still use my soft tip touches with it. So yeah, really pleased with that. So I'm gonna be using that on some bits and pieces. At the moment, I'm just putting step centers in because I'm just turning this down to round and I'm gonna find my center. I'll just try and remember what I'm actually doing now. <laughs> Right, okay, I'm just gonna find my centre. Get this to round, put a tenon on one end, and get it ready for gluing up. Now I cut it on my uh, bandsaw, so I know I've got a, a nice flat on both, both sides. Uh, I think that was the one I just cut. So yeah, I've got a nice flat there. So I'm gonna be using that as my top to glue on. Okay. That way I haven't got to worry about coming back and doing anything on the front of it. I've just got to get it to round, put a tenon on it. And that's that. All right, let me just bring that up. And that center. There we go. Nice. Just. Nipped up between centers like so. I wouldn't normally have the chuck on for this bit, but I've got the chuck on, so I might as well. Right, okay. I'm gonna get this just to round, guys. Right, rocking down. my jaws here so I know what I'm going to. I don't want it a perfect circle, I want it slightly off of it. Right, that's it, I'm going to dovetail it. There we go. Right, that's that thing. 
Right, so I've just put a tenon on the end, okay? Mm -hmm. And like I said, I haven't gone for perfect circle. I want this for grip because I've got to hollow it when it goes in. So I want it for grip on there. Come on. There we go. I'm just going to pop that in there. Yeah, nice tighten like that so it all bites in. Right, that's okay. What I will do is I'll just, because it's gone from centres into the chuck. I know that's straight, that's my eyes. Right, okay. <laughs> I'll start that up. I'll start bobble on the front, so I'm just going to come in here. A pass like that, that's it. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually take a little pass on the front of this. I'm going to use the carbide to do it. Because what I want is, is I've just gone a very, very slight inwards. Very, very slight. So I can make sure there's going to be some glue in there, there it's, it's like it's not even a millimetre there's a very slight slope into the center okay and that's what i want right okay so that is staying in there i'm gonna make sure it's tight and i'm taking that off from that right that's staying in there so i'll have to put another chuck on <coughs> For this to go in and I've got to try when I glued this up I've got a piece of wood in the center and I made it as a tenon so that I can pop that in so that I would be able to clean up I think actually that tenon is a little bit yeah it's a little bit deep for that sorry it's on these jaws I said you can only have a very small tenon for that it's not really not really good in that jaw. Standard jaw, so look. That's it. I'll pop it into this one. They're deeper. That's it, right, okay. We've got that. Nice, yep. It's gonna have a wobble because I've got to true this up to the what the tenon is, because obviously it, it's it's moved when it was all sort of glued up. Mm. Well, not glue, when it was poured. No, when it was <laughs> I kept it as straight as I could, but you know what it's like, guys, it moves. Right, this is where things start to get a bit messy now. There we go. I'll put my chuck up there. Oh, look, I've already got wood in the coffee. Mm -hmm. I'll have to sieve that through my teeth when I drink that. <laughs> put... I can't get it out, I've got a piece in my... I've got a piece of that... Oh, and that was Elm I was turning, by the way, guys. That's all right, it'll float up in a bit, probably. <laughs> right, okay. Because this is going to go everywhere, isn't it, resin? Yep. Right, let's start that up. Yeah, it's wobbling about, but... Nice little wobble on it. Right, I'm going to just use the round carbide for this out of the standard set, okay? I'm just basically going to true it up. This might get a bit covered. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm not bothered. Oh, no, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, so no, it comes off with something all warm. Real strings, this. Yeah. Remember, if you count the resin, keep, keep your hand all low, use the bevel. That way you won't get no chip out. It might be a bit slower to cut. Oh, that's coming in nice and true now. Don't touch that end. It will be sharp. That's it, now it's all right. Yeah, when you come down like that, don't touch that end. It'll be very, very sharp. I'm just gonna give a nice true up cut on this.
finished cut, there we go. Right. Now, even though I know the bottom is... Get rid of that, get it down there, out of the way. Right, although I know the bottom is flat, I'm gonna trim it up anyway because I've got a glue on that and I don't want it shiny like it is, I want to take that shiny edge off. Right, that's no good standing in front of it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? No, I missed it. <laughs> well, see, if I stand here and I come across like this... <laughs> it's got a whole load of orange in the face. <laughs> You've been tango. <laughs> Right, nice there. Just take another little. There we go. We're lovely and smooth, nice and flat, but <laughs> not good to stand in front of this resin. <laughs> this is the first time I've used this uh, this resin, this particular one. Um, and it, it really comes off in good strings, this one. Look at it, it comes off like this. <laughs> it, it ties everything up, really. Yeah. Look, yeah, you can so see how long they look. It's just con <laughs> continuous. Yeah. This is going to be loads of fun, isn't it? <laughs> this is Lisa's idea. Yeah. <laughs> I hate resin. <laughs> it's clean up. Oh, I like right, it's okay. clean up, yeah. So I've got a nice flat bottom on that okay so and the reason I've done it this way is because I will now put and look, look at that finish on that look because we rolled our cutters over okay we've got a beautiful finish look no chip out that's not negative rake I don't use negative rake for this um, that's just the standard one that's the one that's done all the work the type 3 set it's still going that Right now, all I will do, because um, I've got this, my centre here, a bit of resin gone in there, right, is I will put my chuck on here, slap a load of epoxy on there, bring that up like so, tighten it up, like that and leave it okay so obviously because we're doing the video I can't do that right now so in the good old days of um, Blue Peter yeah. right, here's one I prepared earlier <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've got this one, so I'm doing the two basically exactly the same, so I've already glued this one up. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take this out. But that's why I used the two chucks and I left it in, because then I can just bring them together and glue it up. But I'll do this one off camera at another time. And that way I can get this one turned. Okay, let's get this one back on. There we go. We're going to mount this in here. This one is the rainbow one. <laughs> yeah, this is actually the rainbow. Lisa told me the colours she wanted and that's what I put in. Yeah. Right, I'm just going to put my centre in here for a second. That's it, just so I make sure that's loose in my chuck. Make sure that's centred up. Now tighten my chuck. Okay, now take the pressure away so it's all nice and free. 
and give it a nice little nip, tight and a quarter of a turn. And that should have that and that should be all right for me to hollow out now. So I'm gonna hollow it first. Okay. And we'll see how we go. And because this is resin, it will mostly be done with, uh, obviously with carbide, most of it. I'll probably take this end bit off first with uh, probably a spindle gouge, I reckon. There we go, that's all nice. Now we can continue. Tighten this up, I want to keep pushing inward because you can hear it vibrating. I'm away out from the truck, see? In fact, I think the quicker way to do that is going to be the square carbide. <laughs> it's going to be a lot quicker, I think, a lot easier. Because this is end grain here. And I literally just want to get rid of this. Dibble in there, like so, get rid of that. And I'm going to drill a little hole down that. Okay, that's just going to help me to get, get in there. Well, I don't want to go too far, I'm only going to go down to near enough that black line there. Okay, that's all I want. Right, just every now, just feel here. If you feel here, if it's still all running through, you know nothing's moved. Okay, right. I'm going to be using uh, my six mil for this. <laughs> my little six mil hollower because this is end grain, and I want to be pulling out on it. And this is actually, I mean, probably a bit silly. I used end grain, piece of wood, and it's a piece of yew. So that's not the best. That's a very hard wood. When you're turning on the end grain of it. The end grain is very grabby and horrible. Horrible stuff. So I'm going to use the 12mm for a minute and open that up a little bit in there.
Just wanted to get this out fairly quickish. I'm a bit higher, so it's way high. There we go. As I say, nothing's moved, so we're all good. That's a bit better. how big this bit of wood was I'm trying I can't get to the bottom of it yet I can't get into the resin <laughs> vibration because I'm, I'm overhanging quite a bit there right okay let's come in with a little six mil right again I'm like I'm quite a way in here so I can't get no pressure but I'm on the resin at the bottom. Right, it's gonna have to, oh, that's better. <laughs> I can see now. I'm gonna have to get a longer tool. That's a bit short for this. Yeah. But hang on, I'm just gonna clean up some of this mess. Come around one, but I wanna stay on the six mil at the moment. So I'm gonna go to this one. down on the tool. Literally just trying to get all this wood out. Most of that wood's gone from there. I can see my bottom there. Right, I'm gonna come in like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the square chisel. I'm gonna take some push cuts down. It's gonna be the easiest and quickest way of getting rid of it. Gives a good finish as well, actually. Look at this, it's really coming off in strings, isn't it? Yeah. Strings as well. Oh, it's... <laughs> it's not breaking, it's so long. Look, yeah. <laughs> that's it. Go you tie yourself up with this. Just hit on the bottom, that's alright. 
back of the car went flat on the bottom. Everything's still good. It didn't go quite so deep. <laughs> I should use the round one to do that at the end. I'm just getting this. Right, it's brought that down lovely. Look, look, look. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. I do. That's ridiculous, isn't it, guys? Who wants a turn with resin? I love it. But this resin, it comes off. It's tied up. It's tied up. This really comes off in strings. It's like. As I say, this is a new resin for me. I haven't used this one before. Um, and it, it really comes off in good springs. But that will actually be easier to clean up. Yeah, well, maybe, if I don't get tied up. <laughs> right, OK, I brought that down to quite a nice thickness with that. Yeah. That is a lovely finish on it. It really finishes well. Mm. So I'm going to come in with a round now to clean that. Actually, I might do a bit with the R2, I don't know. I've got to be careful actually, I'm not thinking here. Because I've got to taper this in, haven't I? And I've come a bit... Yeah, there might be a slight change to the design. Yeah. <laughs> I've come in a bit there. Yeah. We're going to go to the round. So I can get this rounded in the bottom there. Get that stuff out. Right, okay. Get the rounded bottom there. Yeah, it might be a slight design change there at least because um, I think I've gone too flat on the bottom for me to taper that in there, so I'll taper it in down that bit. Yeah. We'll see what it comes out as, I don't know. Yeah. I got a bit carried away with that <laughs> square actually. <laughs> no, don't do that, don't vibrate. Need to drop the handle, see, because it's vibrating a bit. Just there. Need to just get that bit. Yeah. There we go, that's all right. Do that rim nice there. On a rounded rim. So I think I've got a little, little bit just there. Just where that transition is. That's too big. I can't get that cutter in. You're going to have to go over to a, a nine mil, and I'm going to use it on the number two. Where that curve is. That's it, I've got in there. Got a nice curve there. I've got another line in it now. So I've got a line just there. You can see it. 
That got it. That got it. Alright, okay, so now what I want to do is see what I can do on this outside bit. Because I wanted to taper that in. Mm -hmm. And I've still got a little line there. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I've still got a little line, I can see it. This is all nice, I've got a little line just there I need to get. Alright, let me see what I can do. I've got an R2 cutter. That's got it. Standard R2 cutter. That's it. That should be all right. Yeah, it's just a standard R2 cutter, that one. Okay, it just enabled me to just get in and take that little edge off on that resin. Right, okay, we're okay with those. So now, back to me 12 mil. I'm going to come around on this and start to bring it in and see what I'm going to get here. Mm -hmm. I think actually I took a bit too much out of it. Got to get that rounded, it can't be sharp. Now, I know I'm just on the red, mm -hmm. so I can bring that in from where the red is. Whoa, whoa, don't do that. It's all right, we ain't done nothing. Going everywhere, isn't it? <laughs> horrible, horrible stuff. Right, I'm going over to my spindle gouge, which is what I want to do. Bring that up a little bit. A little bit low there. Everything's nice and stable still. I want to bring this in here now. There you go, it's a nice transition there. You can come right round if you want. Not all of you, you can't all fit round here. <laughs> Remember with the spindle gouges, just slice it in. Can you pass me that glass, darling? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't go quite as thin as that. It's got to be near enough to where I wanted it. I'm not going to go quite as thin as that in the middle. Mm -hmm. um, you can play it back over there now, darling. I think what I'm going to do is... 
pull this down. Put in there. It's a little bead there. Yep. So we've got a little bead there, that'll give a little detail. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring this cup round. When you're working on something like this, as I say, especially for new turners, with your bevel on, when you've made your cut, don't come off and then come in and try and make another cut. Bring your chisel back with the bevel, no cutting. Rotate it, forget that bit. <laughs> cut, edit, right. Bring it, it's because I'm talking. Yeah. Bring it back. Okay, rotate it and come in for another. I'm, no, I'm going to do it again, again now. Right, let me just turn and you can watch. <laughs> I won't explain it, I'll just turn it and you can watch it. Right, okay. Now, I'm going to go for a slightly smaller than the base, so I'm going to go for that. Right, what I want to do is actually take it out slightly that way, like so. And then, like I was saying, I'm going to roll back, just rotate it slightly, pick up my cup. No, nope, I've done it again. Right, okay, easiest way then is to slice it in. There you go. Slice in. Come round. There we go. Got to talk myself out of it, see? There we go. Right, we're nice. Right, we've got that. Oh, I've got a little bit... Just there. Sorry, the that got it, that's nice. Right, okay. I'm all good there. I know where I'm gonna part that off. I've just now got I've got a very slight bump there. But I'm I'm okay. I'm not going to go any thinner than that because obviously this is going to be used. Well, she's going to use it. She asked for it. Right, sorry, it's here. It's all here. I will be using it. Doing good. I've got a, just this tiny bit here I'm trying to get rid of. That got it. Continue that up. See, that's the thing with resin, it doesn't matter which way you go because there's no grain to worry about. Mm -hmm. Right, I think that's looking pretty good there. It's a very slight bump there. It's very slight. I can't seem to get rid of it. We use the detail. That got it. <laughs> gentle, gentle, gentle. Right, that all feels good. I like that. Mm. That actually feels quite nice, that. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come in a little bit with a parting tool, just here. So give yourself a bit of room because I want to undercut, see? I'm going to that. That's nice. That's doing all right, that. This can have a bit of sanding done on this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop it first, so I can clean all this crap off of the... No, look, that's really locked on there. Oh, look at it. It's tangled up a bit. It's locked on. Oh. Right, open it. <laughs> off of me. I can't stand that when things get on you, you can't get them off. 
Look at me, I'm covered. Right, okay, yeah, we've got a lovely feel. Look at that, no chipping, no chip outs, no nothing on that. Nice finish. Yeah. And yep, yeah, we've still got that in the bottom. Might have to take a little bit on that bottom. I'm going to take a little cut on that bottom there. I can feel there's a, a little ridge just there. But we've got a lovely transition there. Yeah. I really like that. It looks really like good, it. actually. Oh, yeah. I think that looks really good. So, what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna bring that straight across. And all I've gotta do is clean that, that bottom bit inside there. I can just feel there's a little bumping going on. With a longer six mil, this one will be better. I can control this one better. There we go. That's it. Nice, clean, smooth bottom now. Right, I've just got to try and get in this corner. Did I? Yes, I did. There we go. Got it. So I had to go over to the, the standard hollower. It's the same one, this one I was using, but I've got it in here and I've got quite a bit of that bar down inside my hand. I could have pulled it out, but I was just being lazy. Okay. I'm just being lazy. Couldn't be bothered. So, right, we've got that. We're putting tools up out of the way. And we're going to clean this up a little bit. A little bit of sanding. Now, the awkward thing here is we've got wood and yeah. debris. Put it on the wood. You're going to need to do the wet one. Do you need some water? I don't know if I'm going to do a wet one. Um, well, yeah, actually, I will probably do a wet one. I'm not sure. Where's your pot? I'm going to get you some water in the meantime. One second. One second, guys. Lisa's just going to get me some water. Because I will give a very quick sand on this with some water. Because I don't want to put any actual sort of finishing on that. Right, the wood's done nice. Right, come on to this. I don't know. I'm going to start. I'm going to start off with a 240. Actually, I'm probably not. I'm probably going to start with 320. But I've got 320, 
Centre, just off centre like that, so I get that around there. That makes it easier for me to come up I found out about that working like that the other day because I, I put a pad on and it was crooked and I thought, oh that works better, <laughs> I'll have to do that. It's an accidental mistake. <laughs> it was one of those divine interferences again. <laughs> On something as straight as this on the side, it allows you to come around that curve just having that bit there. As I say, give it a go guys, see if it works for you. I'm not saying it's what you've got to do, but it works for me. Very quick, 800, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000. This is a thousand. It starts to really sort of not so worried about the wood. The wood's pretty much done. It's this just the resin. I actually quite like this resin.
turn that off. Lisa's got me some water now, see, so I can do a little bit of a, a wet sand just on the, I don't want it full of wood, I just want it on this resin. Just help to get a nice little finish. Right, uh, that's the rest of the course one, I think. Yep, right, start from that side. I normally have a little bit of kitchen towel there and I can put them down on that once I'm done with them. And it helps to dry them out. I know a lot of people don't bother about wet sanding, but I still like it for my resin. Because I've done it all the time, I've always done it on my resin, and I like it, and it works for me. Like I say, I'm not saying it's the best way to do it, it works for me. Right, I'm going to take my mask off, because... Don't need it now. I don't need it on, I'm just wet, wet, doing a bit of wet sanding. So I don't want to put a finish on this. No. I will on for the wood bit there. I'll put a little bit of oil on that. Um, I might let the oil come up on the outside, but I don't want to put any finish on the actual resin. I don't know whether the resin is actually food safe, but it's for Lisa, so I don't really bother about that. <laughs> it's all right for me. <laughs> the, the alcohol she'll get in it will, will purify anything. Don't worry about that. <laughs> It'll pickle anything, the <laughs> amount of alcohol she has. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> Lisa doesn't actually drink. She's she's an alky pop girl. Yeah. <laughs> she likes those uh, raspberry daiquiris and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> well. Like, there's 4%. Sometimes I've got 4%. You know those little kiddies that <laughs> always hang about outside the shop wanting that? They wouldn't even touch yeah. those alka pops, they're not strong enough for them. <laughs> I only need one and it's enough for me. Yeah, it's spraying all over my face. Yeah. <laughs> and yes guys, I am doing all this sanding at 2,500 RPM. Mm -hmm. Yes, it works for me, okay? I'm not saying it will work for you. It works for me, and that's why I do it. The finish is there. It's, it's how I get my finish, and it, it works for me. You know, I thought actually I'd taken too much off of that inside. I think it's first. all right. If I was going to go in there, but it's actually I really like this how it's yeah. turned out. I like the shape. Really yeah, I like the shape. I think it's really, really good. Thank you, baby. Do you know how long I've not... I've had this <laughs> prepared to do since... January sometime, yeah. Beginning of January, I think. Yeah. Maybe even in December. I started with this. And I just haven't wanted to do it. Because <laughs> I just thought, I don't want to do it. And then I thought, right, I'm going to do it today. I must do it. I know it's been a little bit long-winded, guys, but you can't do... Really this is... Soon. I don't yeah. cut and edit, so this is all off the cuff, guys. I can't... Um, I can't do it any quicker than I'm doing it. It's, it's what it takes. Right, okay. That is that. I'm going to put this out of the way. Mm -hmm. Over here so it can't interfere with anything. I'm going to get myself some uh, clean kitchen towel. There I drink my coffee. <laughs> I'm just going to gently buff that with the kitchen towel. Like I say, I'm not going to worry about the inside because this is actually going to have drink being put in it. So, yeah. you know, but I am going to do that bottom bit. The wood. And I think with the wood, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an oil on it. Yeah. And because that was, um, that actual wood was uh, elm. And because it's elm, I'm going to put a finishing oil on it. Because I think that uh, that'd be nice with the for helping it to darken up a little mm -hmm. bit. Right, got some uh, got some J cloth here. I like to use this to put my oil on. So if you fold it, 
Don't have no loose bits hanging around because you don't want to catch it on the chuck. I'm going to let it come up on the outside because it ain't going to bother the outside. Look at that. It's Lovely. Right, and that, guys, is pretty much that. Right, so now I've got to get sorted on to parting that off. Yep. So I'm going to pile it off and then I should clean the bottom up on it after. Okay, so obviously we're turning again, so face shield on. Yep. You never know, it could catch, fly off, smack you in the face, <laughs> and that would be the end of that, wouldn't it? No goblet. <laughs> Yes, that's it. Lucy, you worry about the goblet. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> what was that? I'm not sure. I think going up. Taking my time, I don't want to go before I'm ready. Right, okay. Right, that's it. 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 I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little, little cut on that moss skew. Right, let's take in that, and now I'm going to put a little, just a bit of dust in there. Right, um, sorry, I ain't got a sanding pad on that. Got a nice little pattern off of that parting tool there, actually. <laughs> Gonna keep that. And I'll put a little bit of oil on this. Parting tool back. Under that. One of those bits so it's like I think it's dust getting dust. on the static. Yeah. I've even been some glitter in the resin. I don't oh know yeah, because it was glitter, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, I did have some glitter in the resin, didn't yeah. I? In some parts I was pouring. <laughs> right, okay. One. Yeah, that's that's glitter. Yeah, it is, isn't that's it? Glitter, glitter, silver glitter, yeah. It's got some bits of little bits of glitter in the <laughs> <laughs> there was That's glitter nice. in some of, some of the resin I was doing, so yeah, right, let me take that off. Let me get rid of the chuck. Oh, I like that. It's a perfect size. Perfect size, guys. Look. And 
Lisa's goblet. Yeah. So there we go, guys. Yeah. That was it. Yeah, there's a um, couple of little bits of um, glitter. glitter in the very bottom of it there. I don't know if you see, yeah, it. You can see it. But there we go. Look, lovely finish. We ain't got no chip out or anything on that resin. Look. And we didn't use no negative. We just used the standard, standard cutters. Okay, it's not going to be see-through because I put quite a, a lot of colour in that to get the colours yeah, vibrant. I wanted the Lisa cup. wanted it. I wanted a happy that, cup. It's a, a happy, happy cup. cup. <laughs> this is for a, in the summer to sit out there drinking my punch with a little bit of daiquiri <laughs> in it, and that's it. Yeah, my rum punch should be alright. It's just like a, it's a that resin. It's like a goes more like a plasticky Plastic, type yeah. resin. Yeah, yeah, a plasticky type. I quite like it actually. I don't mind that. For doing okay. these sort of things, yeah, yeah, it's all right. And that I wanted that's what all I wanted to do on the bottom. So we've got a lovely transition there, it blended quite nice actually. Mm -hmm. And come round, I've just got to copy that on yeah, that one when I get that one glued up, yeah. So there you go, guys. From that's how we go from that to that, yeah, okay. And that one will be done the same slightly different colors we've got the yeah we've just changed the color yeah i run i didn't have any red that's right we didn't and i red had a, a blue spare so i put another blue in the bottom but actually yeah you can see one blue's got there, the glitter yeah it's actually look you yeah. can just see that in there i've got glitter in in the actual resin yeah. and i forgot that and that's what that is in the bottom <laughs> of that yeah. there was glitter in in the resin yeah. in some of the resins i was doing the different different pores and stuff so, but there we go, guys. That's how we go from that to that. Yeah. That's quite nice, that, I actually. I like it, yeah. I quite like that. Yeah. Getting a bit dusty. Yeah. Right, there we go, guys. So, I'll see you on the next one. Just doing some fun turnings. I've got a few little bits and little pieces to turn there. Oh, oh, I'm now dreading the pepper mill now. <laughs> the amount of resin there. The amount of resin there. I'm dreading the pepper mill. I really am. <laughs> But never mind, we'll it'll give be, it a go. It'll be fun. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one, guys. I might not do the resin or pepper meal straight away. <laughs> I might think about that one. I've got to build myself up for that <laughs> resin. Right, I'll see you on the next one, guys. Toodle pip. Bye, guys.